Welcome to 99 Grid, where we turn dreams into Kearney. <laughs> Welcome to 99 Grid, where we're turning dreams into careers. My name is Andy, and today I wanted to talk to you about another aspect of experience mapping. When it comes to, we've covered some of the types of the experience map, we've covered some of the activity types on those, and we've covered the assessment. But today I wanted to talk to you about validating those experience map with some methods. We've covered research methods um, in some of the previous vlogs, the qualitative and the quantitative methods of research, what the differences are. So I definitely urge you to check those out. Um, but when it comes to validating the, the maps, as I've mentioned in the previous vlogs, there are three different types of experience maps. There are hypothetical experience maps created after empathization with the business people around a workshop, putting some gluing, uh, some post-it notes to the wall and just making sure that we empathize and we try to get as close as possible to the uh, to being in the customer's shoes, which is questionable, <laughs> to, to say the least. Uh, but then we go out into the field and we do some research. We use different methods, qualitative and quantitative methods of research, and we go back uh, to validate whatever experiences we hypothetically mapped out, and that creates the as-is customer experience map. The third type that I mentioned is a to be experience map and that's something we can cover uh, once we've done some uh, design work. But going back to the gist of this vlog, um, when it comes to validating the experience on the experience map, so basically turning it from an as is to a, to, well, from a hypothetical one to an as is map, we need to use different types of methods to do our research. And then we, we, when we come back, we can validate it. But before we get there, we need to choose the right methods and therefore put them actual on the map to see what kind of activities we're going to be assessing or trying to get to the bottom of issues within those activities using which methods. So the way that I usually do it is um, I, I have the map in front of me, the hypothetical experience map. I've got all the activities on the map. I have it assessed when it comes from zero to three and uh, well, zero, one, two, three levels of, um, of the experience assessment uh, which we've covered. And then what I do is I go through the lowest elements and I start with IDI, in, 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 well, in-depth interviews. So it's a qualitative methods of, method of research that basically uh, is a, a sit-down interview with a person we recruit for an hour, hour and a half to get to the bottom of why there are specific issues or the assessment that we see being really, really low within our hypothesis. We want to validate if that's true. So I take each one of the activities that are at least one or, or lower, so zeros and one, so the lowest experiences assessments um, or the lowest assessment of the experiences. So the crappiest elements of the service are a product. I sit down with the people and I try to validate if my assumptions are correct, that these are the, the worst elements of our service. And I try to validate it with a, a simple conversation with them using a research scenario that we've mentioned in one of the previous vlogs as well. So I highlight the zeros and the ones and I cover those with um, with uh, in-depth interviews or any other qualitative methods just to get to the bottom of why um, certain issues might arise. Uh, when it comes to the hypothesis, not everything is going to be on the level of zero or one, so therefore all the other activities that are mapped two or three, I use the quantitative method of research to actually validate some of those. So I use online questionnaires, I put some forms out there to see and ask the appropriate questions, obviously, to validate those elements on the map. And there is a compromise here, obviously, because I'm using my hypothesis to choose the methods of research for the lowest one. I'm using qualitative and for the highest ones, I'm using quantitative methods of research, but it's a compromise nonetheless. I want to cover the entire experience map with various methods to make sure that I validate the entirety of it, because after all, it is a hypothetical experience map and I need to validate it in order to create an as is customer experience or an experience map. So that wraps it up and I hope this is useful. Reach out to us on LinkedIn, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and obviously sign up to 99 Grid if you like these and you like us and subscribe to YouTube channel. I would really um, be glad if we start raising the subscriber levels. But um, this is pretty much it and I thank you very much for joining up and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.